guys, it's Wisteria, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I actually don't quite remember. Okay, we gotta deliver this to Petunia. It's been a while since I've played, like a few days, because I do try to play a lot, but not... Like, I don't want this to be like a thing that I have to get on every day and record, because that's a little bit too stressful for me. So yeah, we're gonna have some weeds around town, I bet. Let's see. Petunia lived down here. Ooh, I bet we have a new villager. Let's see. Daisy. Oh, is that that cute little dog? <gasps> I think it is. We have to go meet Daisy soon. But first, let's talk to Petunia. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now, Moolala. Oh. Oh, my mistake. It's Wisteria, huh? I thought you were going to hit on me or ask me for a favor, Moolala. Why, why would I hit on a cow? That's a little weird, but okay. I seem to be just as popular with boys and girls alike, you know. Everyone wants to be my friend. Ah, uh, sometimes it's just too much, Moolala. By the by, did you need something, Moolala? Delivery. Let's give her her carpet, and hopefully she'll give us a carpet in return. You, where have you been? If you'd taken one minute longer, I would have logged, lodged, lo lodged a complaint with Tom, Moolala. It wouldn't be one of my videos... If I didn't mispronounce everything. Okay. <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to find this carpet. It perfectly matches the sheer elegance of my room. Most common folk don't know this, but you simply have to have carpeting and wallpaper that set each other off. Just by the looks of you, I bet your wallpaper and rug looks positively awful. <gasps> How dare she? Okay, I don't like Petunia very much. You poor thing, Moolala. I'm sure even the ratty old carpet I've been using would make your room look better. <sighs> this cow. Ooh. <laughs> of course, even this carpet may be too glamorous for a hovel like the one you've decided to inhabit. See what I mean? They're so mean. And one of you were telling me that sometimes they just take your furniture like they force you to trade. And I remember that. Like, I used to hate Tangy, the little orange cat, because <laughs> she stole something that I wanted. Like, it was one of the lovely furniture or something like that. But I don't know. I was really mad at Tangy for a long time. You must make do with what you have, no matter how pathetic it may be. Look for rugs at Nook's shop. He's always changing his product line, so you never know when you'll find something spectacular. Of course you're working, and Tom won't sell anything to his employees. That's certainly a thorny issue. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Hurry up and pay off your house. Then at least I won't have to feel so embarrassed seeing you. <laughs> oh, this girl. Okay, we're going to run back to my house and see what carpet she gave us. I'm sure it's just wonderful. It better be cute. Like, it better be cute. <sighs> She's so rude. Goodness. I gotta admit, though, our house isn't looking that great, but it's okay. A kitty carpet? Oh, that's not too bad. It's not my favorite, but it's cute. It's rainbowy. That's good. Let's check this notice board and see if there's anything on here today. The fall sports season is almost here. Joy. I hate sports. <laughs> Since my schedule doesn't allow me to participate, I expect all of you to pick up my slack from Pete. Okay, well... I think that there's a sports fair holiday, which I'll probably do a video over. I'm not sure what day that is. I'm pretty sure I showed it in the first or second episode. So yeah, I'll do that. Let's go back to Tom Nook. Oh, there's a weed. We're going to have a bunch of weeds around town. No. Okay, so let's go back in here. Our trees have grown. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> so you're back again today. Very good. Yes, very reliable. Well, let's get to work. Even though I haven't showed up for like a week, it's fine. <laughs> Welcome back, dear employee. Very good, yes? It looks like you're finally getting the hang of things around here. The way you work, I'd be happy to have you working here full time. Wouldn't that be a treat, hmm? In any case, I can see you're putting a lot of effort into your work. So this time, I'll give you 580 bells. Next, I need you to deliver an axe to Joey. Be extra careful with it, hmm? Yeah, let's not go on any mass murder sprees or anything like that. That might be a little dark. I see that light in your eyes. Now, the stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas, hmm? 
If you want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe, yes? But I can't buy from his store, so like, that makes no sense, okay. Very good then, give it your best shot. And tell me when you're done, yes? Okay, so let's take this to Joey, the cute little duck. Just run over there. I always film this in the evenings, but I like the evenings in Animal Crossing. It's so peaceful with the lighting and everything. Oh, there's still stuff for us to dig up. Hi, Rolf. Do you still hate us? <laughs> there's a lot of rocks around here. And weeds! Ah, hello. I'm starving, Blick. If I don't get some food in me, I'm gonna flip my wig. I'm so serious right now. Huh? What's up? Oh man, you're just in time, Blick. You brought me... You brought me something to eat. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> no, of course you didn't. Yeah, so what did you need me for, Blick? Delivery. Let's give him his axe. Oh, hey, delivery person. Thanks a bundle. Sorry I can't tip you. My wallet's in my other, uh, frock. So to casually change the subject, did you send me this letter, Blick? I did. I did indeed, but... How'd he know? It's from Tom Nook, not us. Okay. That's what I figured. It was super mellow of you. Getting any kind of letter is way cool, Blick. I've misplaced my fair share of stuff over the years, but I hang on to every letter I get, Blick. And not only that, but I show them off to my friends, too. They're easily impressed. Well, that's good, because I'm not that good at writing letters, so they better be easily impressed. Hey, and you never know. I may move out of good old Bunny someday, and I'll bring my letters with me. Heck, I might even show them to my new pals after I move, Blick. Nothing breaks the ice like a letter. That'd be a little weird, okay. Keep that in mind when you're writing me. I just gotta share with others. And seriously, I don't want to show off creepy letters, Black. I don't need that kind of rep, you know. Anyway, enough jabbering. Write me again soon, Black. Okay, let's go meet Daisy real quick. Like, I know Tom Nook wants us to hurry and run these little errands for him, which would be the best way to go. That's the wrong button. Okay, so we can just go around. We haven't been to this part of town yet, I don't think. But I want to meet Daisy. I'm pretty sure she's a dog, but I don't know for sure. I could be being confused. Let's pull this weed. There we go. There's a lot of dragonflies around. I wish I could catch them. Hi, Petunia. I hate you. Okay, let's go down here. Ooh, this is a weird little thing right there. I always press the wrong button. Oh, no. She's directly across the river, but we gotta run all the way around. That's fine. We haven't explored this part of town yet, so why not? Even though it's all just gonna be, like, trees and stuff. But it's okay. Oh, I love the little lily pads. Those are adorable. Okay. I'm already lost. I think we need to just keep going down. Yes. Oh, and here's our lighthouse. Adorable. Let's go up here. I think she's right by the river. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I heard her leave her house a second ago. Oh, here's a weed. Let's pull that. There's gonna be so many weeds around. Ah, uh, here she is. Oh, so cute! Hi, nice to meet you. I haven't lived in Bunny too long, but as far as I know, it's a pretty nice place. I love her already. We're gonna be best friends. Oh my gosh. Oh, where's my mind? GM Scatterbrain today. My name is Daisy. You're Wisteria, aren't you? Right. I look forward to seeing you around town, Bow Wow. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. Oh, okay. Uh, my eyes are literally, oh, three weeds right here, really? But my eyes are literally, like, watering up. She's just too cute. Okay. Let's just try and find our way back up here. And hopefully not get too lost. It's pretty straightforward. Just gotta run around until you find where you're supposed to go. Might take a little while, because this town is huge. Like, this town... Is it just me or the towns in this game bigger than a New Leaf? Or maybe it's just the way the camera is? I don't know. But it, it feels like it's bigger than New Leaf. Don't quote me on that, though. Let's go ahead and go back in here. Hello. Welcome back. Nice work. Yes, very good. Yes, now let's see. That chore earned you a solid 230 bells. Hmm? What to do? Hmm. Your next job will be... Ah, yes. Now I remember. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting, hmm? And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go, hmm? And let me know when you're all done, yes? Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the last chore we have to do. 
for Tom Nook, which is great because I don't like working for him. He just... You don't make very good money. <laughs> like, I'm glad this isn't the whole game. It's just working for Tom Nook because that would not be fun. What should we write? Uh... A... The mouth. I wonder... What faces there are. We're gonna do... A spooky skeleton face and a bunny okay there we go perfect we did it now let's go earn our freedom because I'm tired of this Tom Nook I want to buy a shovel and like look at all these bugs that could be catching I bet they're worth good money I mean not really good but you know decent at least a hundred bells hopefully welcome back did you put a buzz generating ad up there Something animals will talk about over the water cooler? Who talks about ads? Like, do people do that? I don't know. Very good, yes. I suppose. Hmm. That means... Yes, you're all done. All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now all done. How wonderful for me, hmm? So he basically just used me for the things he didn't want to do. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course. You still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here, hmm? Yes, so far you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at, hmm? Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now how could a youngster go about making some bells? I suppose running errands for the villagers and selling things you no longer need too, hmm? That should generate some cash flow, I should think. If you've got stuff to sell, just come talk to me, yes? I'll give you a very fair price for anything you've got. Oh, when you want to make a mortgage payment, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know, hmm? If you can pay off about 1,000 bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send the raccoon goons. Oh, <laughs> just a joke. Once you pay all of it off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. That house you've got now is pretty small, after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes? Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll come see me for all of your future shopping needs, hmm? So yay, we finished working for him. We're free. Yes! I'm finally done working. I'm free, I'm free. Okay, now we're gonna go back in. Cause I wanna look and see what he has today. See if there's anything I wanna buy. I already see a shovel. I think that's probably about 500. Not sure. Let's check the wallpaper and floor too though. That's a tea room wall. It's very nice, very. Would you like to see it? I'm pretty sure this is ugly, but we're gonna look at it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I don't like the gray. If it wasn't gray, I think it'd be cute. Never mind. We're not gonna take that. Not that we could, because we have no money. That's an 8-mat to Tommy. It's very nice. Very. Would you like to see it? Let's see it. Oh, that's cute, but I think I want to go for a really cute house. As I do. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure the shovel is worth 500 Okay. Yeah, we're going to try and make 500 in this episode so I can buy that shovel so we can dig some stuff up, send some fossils in and whatnot. Okay, so we could collect fruit. Oh, hello. There's a little bug in there. Okay. Let's get some oranges. And we can do things for villagers too, I guess. I'm pressing the wrong buttons everywhere. Cool. Although there's a little fish if only I had a fishing rod. I'm pretty sure you can't stack fruit either in this game. I'm not sure, but... Hey there, nice evening, don't you agree? Say, this is the first time I've seen you today, isn't it? What on earth have you been doing all this? Live long day. Playing NES, neighbor? <laughs> very ancient. I have an NES. I love it. It's very good. I love old games. So what can I do for you, neighbor? Give me work. Really? You don't mind? In that case, could you take these clothes to Rolf? I knitted them in my spare time, but I haven't had a spare chance to deliver them, neighbor. Then what are you doing? You're just, like, standing in your front yard. Okay. But you can do it for me, can't you, neighbor? I mean, I guess so. I guess we'll do it. Good luck, Wisteria. I'm sure you'll do your best, neighbor. Okay, so let's take these to Rolf real quick, and hopefully he'll give us something good that's worth selling. We'll take any oranges we see on the way. Ah, weeds everywhere. Okay. Hi, Rolf. How you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, <laughs> he copied me. Grolf? Oh yeah, glad to hear it. But hey, remember if you overdo it, you'll ruin your body, Grolf. 
I'm just saying, it's important to take it easy every now and then, so you don't flip out, Grolf. So then, Grolf, why are you here? Delivery, take this shirt. That was so nice of her to knit it for him. Hmm, thanks. So what did you bring me? What's this? Would you look at me? I look like a circus clown. <gasps> Who would ever wear something like this? Oh no. That's so mean. <sighs> oh well, still now I've got it. Might as well make some use out of it. You really helped me out. I guess I owe you one. So here, take this furniture. Yes, furniture. Give me, give me, give me. I want to decorate my house. I guess I was wrong for thinking you were such a big dweeb. <laughs> Savage. Keep up the good work. Okay, we're going to change outfits also. Because we're still wearing our working one and that triggers me. Also, let's go to the dump real quick. Oh, I forgot about the dump. There could be stuff there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Do it. Yes! I do not remember this happening at all, but now it's like happening all the time. I'm not gonna argue though. Not gonna argue. Oh, I didn't want to grab it. <gasps> Cabin low table. We can use that. Oh, what did Grolf give us too? Cabana bookcase. Okay, so we're getting some actual furniture. Would you look at that? We're gonna have a proper house eventually. Now, where was the dump? Oh, timer's going off. Okay. Um... Okay, there's some clothes. Nothing too exciting, but we'll take it. Oops. We could at least sell them if we don't like them. Let's see what they look like. Mmm, definitely not my style. Okay, let's move on to the botanical shirt. Ooh, no, we're gonna stick with our original, I think. That's good. I like the blues and the pinks. Now, let's go to our house again, drop off the stuff, and then sell everything to Tom Nook and see how much we get from it. There's so many weeds, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and go in here and see what we got. Okay, cabana bookcase. Ooh, it's bigger than I thought it'd be. Okay, that works. Now... We also have a table. At least it's not empty. We've got stuff. I don't think... No, I don't think we have any music. Oh, I didn't want to take that down. No. Drop. Okay. Ew, do I have cockroaches? <gasps> How do I already have cockroaches? Maybe it was just the one. Hopefully we got rid of it. Ew, I hate those. Okay. Let's go ahead and I doubt this is enough, but we're gonna try anyways because I really want to dig up some stuff in today's episode also. It might be a bit of a long episode because the timer's already gone off and everything, so yeah. But it's okay because who doesn't like sitting and watching Animal Crossing? This is meant to be a very laid back series, so I hope you have like a cozy cup of like hot chocolate or something because that would be good. That sounds good right now. I want hot chocolate. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I always hated this when you stand like super close to him. It's just like his little nose is wiggling on you. Like, look at this. Oh, it's absolutely horrific. <laughs> okay. So, how do I select all of them? Oh, no, no, no. I meant to select multiple ones. Okay. Yes, I want to sell. Okay, there we go. We're just going to sell everything. Sell all. If I add it all up, my price comes to... Ooh, we actually do have enough. Yay, we will take that. No, no, we're okay now. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the shovel. That's a shovel. I am aware. The price is 500 bells. It's a steal at that price. Would you like it? Of course. Now he's probably going to tell us how to use it. Very good. Yes, that'll be 500 bells. Thanks much. To use the shovel, we're just going to fly past this because I know how to use a shovel, I promise. Alright, now let's go dig up some things. Yay, maybe we can actually get some money. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip this. And now I gotta remember where all- Ooh, look at all the dragonflies. We, we need to hit the rocks too in case we find the money rock. That's always a good thing to look out for. Now, where are all the digging things? I know I'm gonna miss a lot. Here's one right here. It's a fossil! Okay, so we'll need to send in... Do I have any mail? I guess you don't get mail until you finish working for Tom Nook. I don't know. But, can you move, Rolf? I wanna... 
I want to hit these rocks. I'm trying to line it up here. Okay. Now let's get hit this rock instead. Nope. Neither one is the money rock. Okay. I know there was more around here. Here's some more rocks. Okay. Those weren't it. Oh, we would have heard it beeping if there was a letter in there for us. There's a little bug. Hello. Um, where were the other things to dig up? I can't remember. My memory's bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit these. Or do that. That works too. <laughs> I feel like this controller is like super sensitive. Okay. Is there anything by the dump? There's another rock that works. Eh. Eh. I'm trying to line it up. That's not how you line things up. Okay. Yay for sensitivity. Yay. <laughs> Nothing on that either. I'm pretty sure the money rock's the thing in this game. In fact, I know it is. It's just not wanting to appear. Alright. Where's more things to dig? I saw so many and then when you get a shovel, there's nothing. Hi Curly, how are you? We're not gonna talk to you right now because I'm running low on time. Here's a weed. Okay, I just... I want some things. I just want some things. Come on. Have I already hit these rocks? I don't remember. Might as well do it just in case. Okay. Oh, here's one. Bloop. Another fossil. We're gonna have to send all of these in because you can't just talk to blathers about it, sadly. And I do want to try and complete the museum so we can't sell fossils like as soon as we get them. There's another. Oh my gosh. The sensitivity on this. Ah! <laughs> oh, gyroid. Cool. We could probably sell that. I don't know. We'll set it out. See what noise it makes sometime. But we're probably gonna sell it. Let's go down here. See what's here. Oh, I think I saw one. Yes, okay. Let's dig this up. It's another fossil, yay! Okay, now what else is there? We're just gonna run all around town. Here's the town tree. Very cute. Oh, and a weed! Get out of my life! Oh, here's the police station! I forgot this was a thing! We can go in here and see if there's anything lost that we can take. Ooh, I see some floor! Cool. I love Booker. He's always been my favorite, like, police dog. He's so cute. What's this? We're probably gonna take all of it so we can sell it anyways, but... That's an exotic wardrobe, I think. Ooh, we could take that. Yes, that's our Definitely ours. He's just so cute and shy. Okay. A noble shirt? Yes. Sure. This is ours as well. Oh, that's a trendy top. This is also ours. Now let's see what the floor is. I hope it's something good. Hmm... Palace tile. Ooh, that's not too much my style, but it's okay. We can still sell it. Okay, let's go ahead and go back down here. Thank you for stopping by. You're welcome, copper. We just stole some stuff that wasn't technically ours, but it's okay. <laughs> no one else is ever going to take it. There's so many weeds. Ah, it's a bad thing about not playing every single day is you just get so many weeds. Could be worse. Could always be worse with the weeds. <laughs> like, whenever I played this as a child, I went, like, six months once without playing, and it was not good. It was not good. There were weeds everywhere. <gasps> the money rock! Yay! Ah, <sighs> this is going to be very useful. Okay, let's just take all of this. I'm so glad we got a shovel. There should be a money pit around here somewhere too, but I don't know. There's 1,000. This is gonna take a while to click and drag all of it, but it's worth it. Oh, I don't think we got the 10,000 bell one, which is sad, but it's okay, because this is definitely better than what we had. So yay, we got the money rock. Oh, that's a big fish you're looking at there, Daisy. I wish we could catch it, but nope. Okay, I'm not gonna stop until I find that little golden money pit thing, because I want you guys to see it. For those of you that have never played this game. Oh, there's some shells. We could pick those up, too. I guess we could do that. Oh, 
Oh, more weeds. And here's Able Sisters. It's on the beach all the time in this game, which I always thought was cute. I always thought it was a cute little place. At least we don't have to hit the rocks anymore, but, like, I really want to find the money hole, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. And there's just so many weeds. This is just going to be the entire series is us pulling weeds. Maybe I'll try to do this twice weekly, because it's not like it's a hard thing to... I didn't upload when I don't put music behind it or anything. I hope that's okay with you guys. Like, the first episode I had music, but now I'm not doing it because I'm able to put them out faster so there can be more episodes. Because this is a very long game. It technically doesn't have an end. Ooh, another gyroid. Cool. But yeah, if you want me to put music in the background, I can. It's just completely up to you guys. Oh, we found it. Yay! Yay! 1,000 bells. I think if you plant money here, like a certain amount, you can grow a money tree, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Or is it the golden shovel? I'm gonna have to do my research on this game again, because it's been a little while. But yeah, I would try all this stuff on and put it in my house, but it's been kind of a long episode, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.